Hi guys! Today's video is about Harry Potter merchandise and where to get it from in London. If you're not a fan, I promise this is going to be the last Harry Potter themed video. But if you are, and you happen to be going to London in the near future, I hope this video is helpful. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the house of Pina Lima and tell you about it if you don't already know what it is. So let's get started. The first one is a platform 9 and 3 quarters shop, which was actually the first shop I visited. It is expensive, but you can still buy little souvenirs like magnets or pencils, which are affordable. Also, there are many items with a 9 and 3 quarters logo on them that you cannot buy in any other shop. The Noble Collection shop is amazing and very beautiful, but it's super expensive. I would say that it's mainly for collectors, because a single item can cost up to 400 pounds. However, there are a few items you'll be able to buy for less than 20 pounds, which is still not cheap, I know. Even if you're not going to buy anything, I would definitely recommend visiting this shop. Forbidden Planet is a pop culture megastore where you can find a lot of different merchandise as well as games, posters, books, comics. There's a pretty good selection of Harry Potter merchandise and there are also quite affordable things you can buy there. You can also find Harry Potter merchandise in Primark. The biggest selection is in Primark on Oxford Street. Hamley's is the oldest and largest toy shop in the world, which is set over 7 floors with more than 50,000 lines of toys. It's considered one of the London's tourist attractions, so even if you're not into Harry Potter, you should definitely visit this shop. There's quite a lot of Harry Potter merchandise which I haven't seen in any other shop. Also, if you want to buy Harry Potter themed stationery items, you'll find a good selection of them in this shop.
The House of Mina Lima is an exhibition of all the graphic design elements used in the Harry Potter films and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The name of the house comes from its founders, Mirafora Mina and Eduardo Lima. It's a very cute little building with four floors, which you can visit for free. There's also a shop where you can buy graphic art prints, posters, stationery items and books. So here were some of the shops where you can find Harry Potter merchandise. I'm sure there's more, but these were the ones that I have visited. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, and tell me in the comments which one of the shops was your favorite. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!